never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope you're all doing okay. So today is Saturday the 10th of April. So me and James have a little bit of a fun day planned today because it's really beautiful weather and uh, we're both off work so while uh, we have the time to be able to spend with each other I we just thought we'd do something nice. So basically today is the Grand National uh, for the race horses and normally every year we go to the races so we normally either go to Ladies Day, we don't actually think, I don't actually think we've actually been to Grand National before but um, his whole family are really really into horses and um, you know his sister's got a couple of horses as well so we're basically just going to have a really fun family day watching the Grand National on the telly and just things like that. So I'm going to get ready but while I'm getting ready I just thought I'm going to start off the vlog by giving you an update. So, the first update I've got for you, so if you guys have never watched me before, and this is the first video you might see, I have got a condition called gastroparesis, which basically means my stomach is paralysed. For those of you that do know me and have watched me before, you'll know that this is one of my main conditions, but also one of my worst conditions. So, my gastroparesis is quite severe, um, to the point where anything I have orally, I do, it doesn't stay down. Um, I vomit all the time. My teeth are falling out because I vomit that much and I am fully reliant on a feeding tube. So my feeding tube goes directly to my bowel, it bypasses my stomach and it basically gives me all the nutrients that I need for my body to stay alive. So I had a dietitian appointment the other day and it was on the phone because at the moment due to Covid we can't actually go into the practice or anything like that. So during my dietitian appointment, she basically informed me that I she doesn't think that I'm getting enough fluids. So for those of you that watched my vlog the other week and I mentioned about how I have to go in the overnight fluids for a little while because I was having a really, really bad week. And then I came off my overnight fluids because I thought I could manage and I was doing a bit better. Anyway, I had my dietitian appointment and she basically asked me, you know, exactly how much water I'm on already and um, she worked out how much fluids I'm getting from the feed that I have and also how much I'm vomiting during the day and just worked out basically how much my body is coping at the moment and she basically said that she definitely doesn't think that I'm getting enough water so at the moment this is how much fluids I'm having so that whole bottle here that's the a thousand that's a litre mark there so the whole bottle probably fits in about 13 1400 mils or something like that so that's how much water that i have throughout the day so as per how a normal functioning body works you know you're supposed to drink water and eat food and that's how your body runs that's how you get your energy that's how you basically function and stay alive whereas mine goes to my bowel so I basically just have fluids a bit of a different way than some other people do like the normal way <laughs> so that's how much I have during the day and it takes a long time for it to go through I don't do it overnight um the reason I told you in the other week I used to do it overnight but it just gives me really really bad nightmares and I just can't sleep very well and I sleep with a partner in the bed and I just find it I just rather be on it during the day which is why I do have it during the day now because she said that I need extra water and she's worked out that I basically need at least another 500 milliliters so in order for that to now run through it means that I'm going to have to run my fluids for a much longer period of time which means I am going to have to go back on it overnight permanently now when she told me that to be completely honest with you I was so deflated and I just felt really down and I just felt like you know when you just you just feel rubbish about it because I've been on this kind of routine for a while now and as much as I thought I was coping clearly I'm not I mean you guys know that I also suffer with chronic fatigue syndrome I also have POTS and one of the main things in order to help them conditions is obviously drinking a lot of fluids and doing that whereas obviously my fluids go through my feeding tube so 
in a nutshell, she basically said that I need to go back on all these extra fluids and I've worked out how long it's going to take for it to all go through and it is 20 hours. So my new routine now is that I have to be connected to my feeding pump for 20 hours a day. So the past two nights I've run my fluids overnight. Um, I have been okay running them to be honest with you. I haven't had the best night's sleep but I have had okay night's sleeps. But it, I just feel really kind of just emotional about it because it's just frustrating you know there's sometimes when you're doing things and you're connected to your pump and it it just it's just hard it's just hard work being connected to it all the time if any of you guys have got a feeding tube and you're watching this you'll know that being connected to it all the time is really hard work but I mean it is what it is that that's the only frustrating thing um ooh, <clears throat> that's the only frustrating thing that I'm gonna have to be on it for so long now so that was the first kind of update that I've got to give you the fact that you guys probably see me a lot of the time and I'm connected to my pump and then sometimes I'm not connected to it whereas now I'm going to be connected to it all the time. There's four hours out of the day that I can not be connected to it. So the past two nights like I said I've been on my pump and then in the morning I've switched it off for, I've just carried basically carried it on throughout the day and then there's a period that I can be off for four hours and then I need to go back on it. Um, but that's the first update now the second update that she gave me was that she wants me to have something called dioralite now when she told me this i was just kind of like oh, okay that's fine you know your doctors tell you something you just listen to them and then i started googling it and i was like what what's dioralite and i googled it and it said something like to help you go to the toilet and i was thinking why do i need that like i was really confused but then more, the more i looked into it the more i understood that it, it's basically like hydration it's like hydration sachets basically that's got extra electrolytes in it um, and things like that. So that was the second thing that she advised me that I need to do. So she's ordered me some from the GP. Um, so I'm going to go and pick that up today from Sainsbury's. They're open until 10 o'clock I think. So I'm going to go pick that up soon. Um, but it's basically sachets that I can put in my water and that will help with my hydration and it'll give me more electrolytes like I said and that's one thing that is really quite important in POTS is increasing your hydration because that can help your symptoms. I'm already on tablets on my POTS but um, I do sometimes really struggle and I, one of my main things struggling with is being absolutely knackered 24-7 which you guys know I'm literally tired all the time but today I'm actually on quite a good day um, which I'm really thankful for because like I said it's really beautiful weather today. Um, so yeah, that's just the main update about my dietitian basically that I need to have more fluids, I'm connected to my, ch my ch bleh, machine all the time and I need to have this dioralite thing to give me extra electrolytes and hydration. So I'm going to carry on getting ready now. Like I said, today we're just going to have a really fun like family day. Um, to be completely honest with you, I have been... I've been very down this week. I've literally, this is the first day that I filmed this week. I've been really, really down to be completely honest with you. And I've always said that I'll be honest with you, so I'm just gonna tell you. Um, I've been really, really struggling this week mentally. I think news like that and, you know, just a mixture of other things like lockdown and work and just, just a mixture of emotions can trigger off my mental health quite bad. I have really struggled this week. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to today because it's a good, way of distracting me and it's you know it's just a nice thing to do so I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully it'll just take my mind off things and I can just have a really lovely day and just forget about everything going on right now um because I have been really quite poorly over the past few weeks to be honest with you I mean you guys know that I've struggled quite a lot with my tube as well and um, that's luckily today I'm okay with it um but yeah I've just had a really emotional week so I'm really looking forward to today I'm really looking forward to just letting loose and just enjoying myself and just having a nice day so i'm just gonna carry on getting ready and then i'll catch up with you when we start on our day oh it's been a while since you've done that with me eh look at that baby look at that fresh fresh out that box you know <laughs> get it pumped for the races in the day. Ciao for now. I'm leaving you for someone else, but it's not who you might think it is. It's someone who you're already loving. Okay, everyone, I am all ready now. Um, it's actually really, really nice just to 
get dressed up when you're not doing anything just because we've literally not done anything for so long in lockdown like it's just gonna be nice that we can just have a nice day today but um i've just connected to my backpack because i need to go and meet my mum and dad at the land just because my feed is getting delivered to my grandma's house at the minute where my mum and dad are staying so uh i'm gonna meet them at the land it's literally like 10 minutes from here so they're gonna just give me some of my feed and then i can come back here so i'm gonna go do that now i think the dogs have just recognized my car hold on Where are you? Hello! Hi! Thank you! It's... Hello! <laughs> hello, buddy! <laughs> she really just realised it's me! <laughs> oh, I'm literally only going to be here for like five minutes, Al. Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> Come here then. Ready? Ready? Right, so like I said, I only came to pick up some of my feed. Don't even know where it is. My mum said it's in a car, but I can't see it. Oh, it's there. So for those of you that don't know, um, I think I've already showed you anyway, but this is what feed I'm on. It's Ensure Compacts. Do you want some? Oh God, it's so heavy. All right, let's shove it in my car for now. Yeah, this is what feed I'm on got my older dress on so it doesn't even matter that you can see it but um yeah this is literally what feed a mum and it runs out of date this month as well so i need to make sure that i have this first but i'm literally only going to be here for like five minutes because like i said i've got that day planned with james <gasps> i've got just found in my car mm. oh they were there what buddy <sighs> what do you want are you just having a play time today at the land? Are <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Good boy. Where's your brother? Oh, he's over there. Is this what your plan is today? You're just both wandering round. Yeah? Right, let's go see my mum and dad. Right, I've got my feed now. So that will last me a few days because my Abbott order got, um... What's the word? What is the word? I can't think. It got delivered like it. What's the word when something doesn't arrive in time? Delayed. 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 It got delayed. Um, so that'll last me a few days before it gets delivered again on Monday. So I'm going to get going back to James' house now. I'll deliver to the dogs and mum and dad, and I'll probably catch up with you this afternoon. Oh, right, everyone. It's a bit of a weird light in here. Uh, right, I've just got back. I feel absolutely shattered now. But I can't remember what I was trying to tell you when I was in the car, but basically my Abbott delivery got delayed, that's the word I couldn't think of, um, this week by like four days. They normally just send it, they're normally really, really good, there must be an issue. Um, but at the minute, all my feeds go into my grandma's house, so about every two weeks or something I have to go pick everything up. So I'm sure I've showed you this before, but uh, these are the feeds that I'm on, it's Ensure Compact. Uh, 300 calories in every one, it is 125ml, I have six of these a day. Um, I know someone actually asked me a question the other month or the other week and I said that I'd find out the answer. So someone was saying I didn't think that you could do bolus into a feeding tube. Now when I had my dietitian appointment I actually asked her that because it's a really good question that because I honestly had never heard of it that you couldn't do bolus into a J-tube. And then when I googled it, all Google was saying is yeah you can't do bolus into a J-tube. So I was panicking thinking well I've been doing this for what like five years? And then I started panicking, thinking something's not right. Obviously, I shouldn't be doing it. So anyway, my dietitian said no. She said, I know that um, it does say that online and some people can't do bolus into a J-tube, but um, it normally, when they say you can't do bolus, it's because the feed is a lot bigger. Like, these are literally so tiny. Um, so she said that dietitians and things like that in hospitals can allow people with a J-tube to do bolus as long as it's small amounts spaced out throughout the day like mine is so i couldn't do like a massive bottle and bolus it in it has to and mine is literally tiny and um, some people can't tolerate very well because it makes them feel really sick which is another reason why i can't do bolus whereas i'm tolerating it fine and also one thing that people um might not know about doing it bolus as well it takes forever you do it that slow that it can't affect your, your tube, um, your bowel, sorry. But if you were to do it really, really fast, then it would be an issue. But I got trained basically on how to do bolus and do it the right way. So 
I hope that has answered it. But it was a very good question when someone asked me that because, like I said, I didn't have a clue um, that you couldn't do it. But the re she did basically say it is fine. There's not a high percentage of people that do bolus fire J, but a lot of the people that do bolus fire J, are, like I said, they're trained properly. It's a very small amount and it's um, you do it very slow. So I'm going to go downstairs and enjoy my day now of the racing. I'm going to go pick my horse and yeah. I know I look a bit weird because I'm keeping my jacket on inside, but everyone's quite dressed up, so I'm just going to keep it on. But my dilemma is I can't decide whether to just keep my backpack on all day or put my pump back on. I mean, I'm not leaving the house, but I feel like it's easier to walk around with a backpack, but at the same time, it's heavy, so I don't know. Dilemma. I'm thinking back on all those times when I feel close to from all that I could become eager but to scared to climb. Hey everyone, sorry the lighting's a bit weird. I just thought I'd uh, give you all an update. So it's about what time is it now? Quarter past seven. Oh my god, it's quarter past seven. Wow, today's gone fast. Uh, so it's quarter past seven and we've had a really, really nice day, and it's got to the point now where because I've been up since half nine, I've been busy, I've been doing stuff, I'm at that point where I'm crashing really, really bad. And all I want to do is just take my makeup off and put my pyjamas on and get in bed. But this is where I always find it's like the real frustrating thing about being poorly because, you know, you just kind of, I don't want to say the word boring, but that, that is how I feel. I, you know, I feel a bit miserable, I feel like I can't be as happy and joyful as everyone else and this is just when I find it really frustrating and plus I decided to have some barbecue and that those all have in so I'm just waiting to be sick and I always find the period of waiting to be sick awful because like I know it's going to happen I feel really really unwell right now and I just want it over and done with <laughs> so I'm just at that point now so I really just want to get in bed but I know I can't because everyone else is actually having a really good time but yeah I'm probably going to give it another hour then I might put my drums on <laughs> but Oh god, it's still so sunny. It's crazy how the weather's been today because I've seen that in Liverpool it's been snowing and that's not far from here at all. It's really bizarre. Yeah, I just feel absolutely exhausted, like really, really tired. So I just thought I'd just share with you that I feel annoyed in situations like this. I'm sure you all get it. Good evening, everyone. So I feel so much better now because I've taken my makeup off and I'm in my pyjamas. Well, I'm not in my pyjamas, but I'm in like my sweats. Um, yeah, honestly, I feel so much better now. It, I don't know what it is, but when you're not used to wearing makeup and then you wear like a full face of makeup, it's just, it's so bizarre. And like, I feel like it's heavy on my face. It's so weird to explain, but because I've been working from home, for so long now and like we've been in lockdown basically forever i just don't wear it anymore um i've come out with this massive spot today as well which is really weird because i've literally not been wearing makeup so who knows but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here and um, i know it's probably not as long as my normal ones but i don't film much all week um until today really and I, I know i mentioned the reason for it was just because i just felt really down and yeah so i just thought i would just film today and obviously just give you a bit of an update and just let you know what we was doing today so really really hope you enjoyed it really hope you're all doing well um i know i spoke to a few of you this week about what you've been up to i know a couple of you are in hospital as well so i have been checking up on you but just like i just want to let you know that i am thinking about you so if you need anything at all honestly just let me know and um, i've got my fluids set up ready for tonight because as i told you at the beginning of the vlog i'm now connected to fluids overnight again which i'm still not thrilled about but it's just what it is so it's actually my third night tonight being connected on it so hopefully as more time goes on the more i'll get used to it but yeah like i said i want to close off this vlog now so i really really hope you're doing okay really hope you're all well and i will catch up with you next week if you've got any video requests or anything like that just let me know and i'll get onto it thanks guys bye <laughs>